So I recently made a video about the changes to the services that the USPS offers by combining first class package, ground retail, and parcel post into a new product called USPS Ground Advantage. A couple of people watched the video, or actually more than a couple, quite a few people watched the video, but I started getting questions and some people were asking if I could make a video about the actual process involved as far as eBay sellers are concerned when it comes to updating your business policies, updating your listings, and basically making sure that everything is in compliance for this new product that they're offering. So what I'm gonna do today in this video is actually take you through the step-by-step -step process on what you need to do actually to update your business policies and make sure your listings are using those policies. Since eBay is giving us a grace period to allow us to make these changes, uh, so this way you're not running into issues later, having buyers go to your listings, try and buy your items, and then they don't have a shipping option. Because right now, if someone buys an item with a shipping method you have specified, like parcel post or first class package, it's gonna print ground advantage on the label, but you're still gonna have to go in and make the changes if you're using ground retail or first class, Otherwise, it's not going to automatically update once the grace period is over that eBay is giving us. So stay tuned and we're going to jump right in. Okay, so hopefully y'all can see my screen okay here. Um, what I'm looking at is the main eBay website screen, just the main page of the eBay site. And what I'm going to do is take you into my account and actually show you how to change the business policies as well as the listings that use those policies for USPS Ground Advantage. Now there are two different ways to do this. You can either do it from the listing itself uh, when you're editing the listing and actually see your policies, or you can do it from the eBay uh, my eBay section under accounts and actually adjust your business policies under the settings. I'm actually going to show you both ways so this way you can do whichever way is easiest for you because it's going to depend on where you are as far as how you're making the change in terms of which way is going to be easier and more efficient to get this done. So without further ado, first we're going to go under my active listings and what we're going to do is go to a listing that is actually less than a pound that is set to use first class package. Any listings that use parcel select are automatically going to update so there's really nothing that you'll have to worry about doing. I really don't have any listings that use retail ground so basically I'm just going to go in and I need to make the change to anything that uses first class package. So I'm going to choose this Disney quilted Christmas stocking because I definitely know it's less than a pound, so we can make that change. We're just gonna click on edit on the left hand side. You get this nice big blue box on the top that says starting July 9th, USPS will simplify ground shipping options with a new service, USPS Ground Advantage. This new service replaces first class package service, parcel select ground, and retail ground. And you can click this little thing that basically goes into more detail about the services they're gonna be offering. Some of you guys may have seen that email and that bulletin already because last month eBay was actually sending out emails kind of letting people know about the change that was going to be coming. So we're going to actually scroll down to the shipping section of your listing and what you want to do is make sure that you have your business policy listed here. We're going to click the three dots to the right hand side and the one that I want to change is my policy called light item shipping because that's the one that has first class package. So I'm gonna click on view shipping policy and just to confirm, if you look on this page here, it shows USPS first class, two to five business days. We don't want that, we actually wanna change that to ground advantage. So we're gonna close this box. I'm gonna click these dots and go to edit policy. It's gonna take you to the screen where you can make the changes directly from your listing. So I'm going to have a little description Items that can be shipped first class package or less expensive to save buyers on shipping for items less than a pound. I'm actually going to change this to ground advantage for my description. And then we're going to go down to the actual services. And this first one here that says USPS first class, I'm going to click the drop down box and change this to USPS ground advantage. I'm not going to change anything else. All my other handling and other shipping options are fine. Then I'm going to click on save and close. 
and then it asks me, this policy is currently being used by 139 listings or templates. Changing the policy will affect all those listings and templates. To save changes, click Confirm. So you definitely want to click Confirm. So now your shipping policy has been updated. So now we're going to scroll down, click on Revise It to revise the listing. And so that is it. If you want to see that your changes have been updated, we're going to click on View Listing. And then if we scroll down to the shipping area, click See Details, you can see the very first option is USPS Ground Advantage. I've had people ask, well, what's the difference between, what's the, what's the real advantage between ground and priority? Well, you can see priority mail is considered expedited because it's two to five business days for ground advantage, and it's only one to three business days for priority mail, usually within three business days, like two to three business days. And you can see here it's been updated. So now what we're going to do is go back to my active listings and just to make sure that my other listings were updated we can go to one other item that's less than a pound that I know is going to be that was using first class package. I think it's safe to say this dental floss is less than a pound so we're going to click on that item because it's also set to use the same policy standard shipping click on see details and bam right there so standard shipping USPS ground advantage so anything that was using that business policy has automatically been updated. Now what if I need to update a business policy on a listing? Well that's pretty easy. You do that from the same screen we did before. You just click here, revise listing. And let's say I don't have the correct business policy applied to this listing. You can change it directly from the shipping area just by clicking the drop down box and then choosing the correct business policy that contains the shipping method that you updated in the previous step. Now let's say I have several listings that I want to update the business policy for to make sure that they're all using the correct shipment method for ground advantage. Well luckily that's easy to do as well. If I go to my active listings and let's say there are multiple listings that I want to update the shipping method for and they're all using previously we're using first class package. So we're going to choose this one, maybe this one, maybe a couple of other ones. Then all we're going to do is click on the edit button, edit selected, want to complete, continue, because I was previously working on one. Then it's going to bring the ones you selected. All you have to do is click the top box to select all of them. And under bulk edit, we're going to scroll down to shipping policy. We want to click under Shipping Policy, Change To, and for the selected policy, we're going to click here and choose that same business policy that we just made the changes to to include Ground Advantage. Like I said, any policies that used Parcel Post are going to automatically be updated, so there's no other action required on your part. You don't have to do this manual update like we were doing for First Class Package. You click on Save at the bottom, and then on the following screen, click on Submit All. It's going to ask you if you're sure, if you want to submit. And then it'll automatically update all of your listings with the new business policy. So besides being able to change the business policy from the listing itself and apply globally, you can also do it from the eBay account settings. All you have to do is go to the main eBay page, click on My eBay in the upper right hand corner, then go to Account. And if you scroll down under the selling section, it's going to be the one that says business policies, fourth from the bottom. So we click there, and this page is going to list all of your business policies. So it's actually a kind of a good idea to check this every so often. Uh, it lists your payment policies, return policies, shipping, all your different policies for your listings, like your uh, store policies. But for now, we're just concerned about the shipping policy. I have my default shipping policy which was set to use parcel post, now it's going to be using ground advantage. But my light item shipping is the one that I changed, so this is the one I would change from this screen here. So to change all you do is you click on edit on the left hand side, and then this is the same screen just looks a little bit different. 
but you go under your services, make sure your policy description is correct, because this is helpful to you if you have multiple business policies to tell what each one does or what each one is for. Like here in this case, I change mine to show ground advantage. Then here, you would just change your service from first class package to ground advantage. Don't have to change anything else. And then when you save, you're just gonna confirm change is done. So that in a nutshell is basically how you'd update your business policies. So as you guys can see, it's really not too complicated. Basically just going into your listings or your account settings, making a couple of changes and making sure those changes apply to all the listings that were affected. Hopefully this video was helpful. It was a useful in some way. I haven't made too many tutorial videos or how to videos, so I'm still a little bit rough around the edges as far as that goes, but I appreciate any feedback. If y'all have anything that you'd like to add or maybe any future videos you'd like to see, definitely drop them in the comments below. I make videos weekly on a regular basis. I always love sharing any knowledge, any news, anything that I like to keep y'all up to date on, or even just, you know, follow me on my adventures when I go thrifting or anything like that. So if you don't want to miss any of my future videos, make sure you mash that subscribe button. That's really important because going to keep you up to date on my new releases, any new videos that come out, and it supports our channel as well, so it's greatly appreciated. But otherwise, if you made it to the end of the video this far, I thank you so much, thank you for watching, and I will catch you all in the next one. Peace!